Conjunctival scarring is one of the difficulties associated with glaucoma surgeries such as trabeculectomies. However, an effective way to control scarring is the application of mitomycin C. Here is the video eliciting two possible ways to apply mitomycin C during a trabeculectomy. A separate sterile working area should be used for mixing antimetabolites and the staff handling these drugs must wear protective gloves. Care must be taken while preparing the desired strengths of these agents so as to not cause back spray or aerosol formation. Once prepared, the solution can be used in multiple surgeries throughout the day. We need 5 ml of saline, mitomycin C injection, usually available as 2 mg strength powder, 5 ml syringe, 1 ml syringe, polyvinyl alcohol eye spears from which the sponges are cut. The mitomycin C concentration used varies from 0.1 mg per ml to 0.4 mg per ml. Here we are going to prepare 0.4 mg per milliliter strength mitomycin C sponges. We first take 5 ml of saline and mix with 2 mg mitomycin C making the concentration of the solution 0.4 mg per milliliter. 0.1 ml of this solution is used to soak the sponges cut from the polyvinyl alcohol eye spears. Procedure of usage of mitomycin C sponges in trabeculectomy. After the eye is prepared, anesthetized with regional anesthesia and draped, a superior fornix based conjunctival flap is made and the area is cauterized for bleeders. The sponges which was soaked in 0.4 mg per ml of mitomycin C are placed on the bare sclera and covered with the conjunctiva. The time duration for which these sponges are to be left varies from 1 to 5 minutes depending on the patient. At the end of the duration, the sponges are removed and a thorough wash is given with a balanced salt solution to wash off the residual mitomycin C. The second way of administration is injecting of mitomycin C directly into the conjunctival tissue. We need 5 ml of saline. Mitomycin C injection usually available as 2 mg strength powder, a 5 ml syringe, a 1 ml syringe, lidocaine local anesthesia vial. Although a number of surgeons are injecting mitomycin C for many years, it has not yet achieved wide acceptance. This undoubtedly reflects the fact that injection of mitomycin C has not been well studied or discussed in literature. Because of the potential side effects of mitomycin C, the surgeons would be cautious while trying a new method. The concentration of mitomycin C in literature varies from 0.05 mg per ml to 0.1 mg per ml. Here, 5 ml of saline is injected and mixed with 2 mg of mitomycin C injection powder. 0.5 ml of this mixture is mixed with 1.5 ml of lidocaine resulting in a concentration of mitomycin C of 0.1 mg per ml. 0.1 ml of this solution is taken for the injection. The procedure of mitomycin C injection in trabeculectomy. After giving retrobulbar anesthesia, the eye is draped, after which 0.1 ml of mitomycin C is injected with a 26 gauge needle 8 to 10 mm away from the limbus, off centered to avoid the superior rectus muscle. Then, polyvinyl alcohol eye spear is used to spread the injection evenly.
conjunctival fornix based flap is made and trabeculectomy is continued. Here are the few photographs showing the bleb morphology of both the sponges and the injection. The aim of this video is to demonstrate the advantages of the injection method over the sponge method which are as follows. The injection takes less time. We are not dealing with sponges. Since we are not using sponges, there is no risk of losing them in the eye which can cause infections. We know the exact amount of mitomycin C delivered to the eye with the injection method. We can spread the mitomycin C as diffusely as we wish in the injection method. As a whole, injection appears to be a promising alternative for application of mitomycin C when compared with the traditional method of using a sponge.